Welcome to Life Bites Mindful Mondays. I'm life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And in today's grounding session, we're gonna help you get centered, cleared, and connected. Let's get started. From the base of your spine down to the center of the earth. Let's create a grounding cord that's very strong and nurturing and fortifying. And let's take the roots of that grounding cord and anchor you to Mother Earth, to yourself, to your essence. To who you are. And let's start to release everything that no longer serves you. Letting go of the past. Take a nice big deep breath. Letting go of the future. Take a nice, big, deep breath. And let's say hello to the here and now. Come into present time. Now about two feet out. Create a circle of light. And in that circle of light is a circle of yellow roses. And those yellow roses represent your true sunshine spirit. And envision your personality and your higher self working hand in hand today. Circle of pink roses around you that represent love and compassion for yourself as well as the outside world. And now let's envision a circle of red divine roses all around you, protecting you as you claim your own energy, your own light, your own essence. Everything goes on the outside of your space except for you. This is your time to claim your own energy. Now let's come up to your sixth chakra right between the brow and about two feet out. You're going to create a movie screen. And today, this week, you're going to envision your life abundantly. Focusing on what you want, what you have, and the abundant life that you're creating each and every moment. So say hello. To your opportunities this week. Some you're already aware of, some you're not even aware of yet. And allow your higher self to open up the richness of your life. And now let's say hello to your challenges. Can you become more neutral to your challenges? Can you have fun with your challenges? And say hello to your beautiful blessings. You'll come to find 
that it's not about finding your riches, but about tuning in to those riches. Take a deep breath. And let us check in physically. I'd like you to scan your body and ask yourself, how do I feel physically in this moment? Just tap in to your body. See what lights up. Is there any stiffness or dis-ease or discomfort? And if you're finding that you're having discomfort, dis-ease, give it a golden light. Green for healing, pink for love. And now let us affirm in your physical body, health, vitality, strength, and flow. Health, vitality, strength, and flow. Take a nice, big, deep breath. Hmm. and come up to the center of your head. And let's envision this golden light getting bigger and brighter. And as it gets bigger and brighter, allow that golden light to represent your abundance, the richness. Life is going well. Tuning in to what's right about your life. And as that golden light flushes out any anxiety, any frenetic energy, or any fogginess, you're starting to clear the slate of your mind. Your input is abundance. Your input is the richness of life. And now let us affirm in your mental body, I am alert, receptive, productive, and present. Let's affirm this again. I am alert, receptive, productive, and present. Take a nice, big, deep breath all the way up to your seventh chakra, above your head, and all the way back down to the bottom of your belly. Come back into your heart space. Say hello to your heart. Let's open up your energy centers. Open up that abundance, the richness of life, all the way up. And all the way back down to the bottom of your belly. And back into your heart space. Say hello to your heart. Say hello to your emotions. This is a chance for you to tune in and ask yourself, how do I feel in this moment? Don't try to change it, just become aware. I feel.
And now we get a chance to intentionalize our energetic field, our emotional states. When we think about the richness of life, the abundance of life, where is your emotional state? And what emotions do you need to feel in order to live in that richness? Opening up the centers of yes, I can, I am. Now let us affirm, I'll give you three. And you can mock up more of your intention this week. As it relates to the richness of your own life. What emotions do you need to feel? I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and let's affirm this again. I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and Take a nice, big, deep breath. Mm. Let's come up to your seventh chakra right above the head. And let's open up your spiritual centers. Plugging into you, the divine, your loved ones, to the world. And say to yourself, I am connected. I am connected. Now let's ask your higher self for help. And I'd like you to ask your higher self for help in a way that promotes forward motion. How may I tune in to the richness of my life? How can I get clear about what I really want? How can I feel abundant? Now let's ask your higher self for guidance. How may you tune in, question, explore, find, discover more richness in your own life, whether it come in the form of money, in the form of relationships, 
in the form of your own state of being. How can you live in a state of abundance, the richness of life? Take a nice big deep breath all the way up and then all the way back down to your heart space again and put your hand on your heart and let's think and feel three things that you are grateful for. Really feel them in your heart. And now let's send some love to someone who may need it. Including yourself. And let's bring down a beautiful golden sun of light coming down through the heavens, coming down through that crown chakra, bathing you in that richness, opening you up to your intuition, to use the power of the divine to guide your way forward. As it moves down into your throat chakra, your fifth, tuning into that powerful, authentic self. As it moves down through your heart space, filling you up with love, support, and nurturing, and this beautiful abundance, opening up those chakras. As it moves down through your third, your ability to manifest the richness of life. Coming down through your second, the I create energy igniting that fire in your belly, that passion, as it moves down into your first chakra, the foundation of life. You're on solid ground with love of self, love of self. As it moves down through your legs, creating that strength and flexibility down through your calves and into your feet. Wiggle those toes. Say hello to your fun fairies as it moves back down into Mother Earth. Ooh, the richness of Mother Earth. The richness of your life. And say to yourself powerfully, I am grounded, I am centered, all is well. Life is good and everything is moving forward exactly as it should be. Take a nice big deep breath. Mm. Stretch it out and open your eyes. Now that you are grounded, cleared, and connected, let's move on to this week's message and life theme. So let's get into this week's topic. So 
as I tune in to the message of today, which is all about finding your riches, the, my guides are laughing at all of us because the very thing we say we want, our energies don't always align. And they, are, they were laughing at me because this weekend I found myself going back and forth between uh, this is what I want to leading energetically with what could happen. Okay. So we have this interesting dilemma being human beings. Okay. Spiritual beings having a human experience is that we have bodies and our brains protect us. So the more you've lived on this planet, the easier it is to look at the dangers of life, the dangers of what could happen. So if I don't lead with that, I'm going to be blindsided on all this kumbaya, you know, oh, my life is going so well to get hit like a train coming down the track. So we think that it serves us to lead with what's wrong. But the challenge with that is we're fighting ourselves every single day. So one of the things that I'm asking my guides as we're talking is, well, how do we get through that? Because the reality is, is that we do have brains and we do have bodies and bad things happen. Shit happens. If we lived on this earth a little bit of time, we all know and we've all lived through challenging, challenging times. So how do we lead with what we want versus what we don't have and what may not work or what could happen? Worry, 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 worry. So I want you to write down a couple of things. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and I don't want you to think about it that much. And for those of you who are listening on demand, get out a piece of paper and a pen. And the thing that I want you to think about is what do you want? What do you want? And just sum it up in a, in a sentence. It doesn't have to be elaborate right now. What do you want? And when you think of that question, does it feel awkward to answer it? Or is it easier for you to lead with either what you don't have or what isn't working? So I want you to answer the question, what do you want? Then I want you to check your energy to see how well that's vibrating in your space right now. Or is there a feeling of, that kind of energy that goes, oh, you know what? I don't know if I can focus on that because I got all this other stuff going on. Okay, so answer those two things. And then we're going to move on. I want to give you some time to kind of feel your way through this. Okay. And if you need more time, for those of you that are on demand, just stop it and then we, you can write a little bit more. And even for yourself, you can come back to this. Okay, so we've got what do we want. We've got what our energy field is saying. I want you to ask yourself, is there anybody, not just intellectually, but energetically embodying a hell yes, this is what I want, woohoo. Let's go into this week vibrating in abundance, vibrating in the richness of life. And let's look at what is the richness of life. People that aren't materially, aren't spiritually rich, aren't emotionally rich. So I don't want you to just define it in terms of wealth, material wealth. What I want you to look at is the richness of your life. Really delve a little deeper this week. 
when you think about the richness of your life. When I look at the screen and I see all your names, I can see and feel the richness of your life. But it's not as important as I can feel it, I can see it, I can know it. It's more important that you feel, see, know it, and embody it. So besides material wealth, where does your richness come from in your life? Take out the money factor for just a moment. Take out the money factor. Where does the richness come from in your life? Some people may say relationships, some people may say their work, some people say their sense of purpose. I want to know if anybody tuned in to the richness of their spiritual life. That spirituality that deepens us from the inside out. And I'd like you to think about that this week, because all of us, if we think about it, are in a world in the media that glorifies the surface, glorifies the people that have XYZ, glorifies the rich and famous, the powerful. But in tuning into your own richness and riches in your own life, I want you to start to open up that space more dynamically so you can hold your life and the texture of it in more of the sacred space that it deserves. And so whether you're mocking up money or you're mocking up a relationship or you're mocking up something that is more fulfilling to you in that richness, hold the divine in the energy of it as if it's fertilizer the sacred space of that richness. We all have gifts that we bring to this world. Are we honoring in the sacred divine those gifts? So when I look around the room right now, I see all these beautiful gifts that each and every one of you have. Are you leading with those gifts? Or are you leading with what you're not? What I don't have yet, what I'm striving to get. I was at a workshop on Saturday that I wasn't conducting. And it was so interesting because normally I'm conducting them. So I'm not in, and it was very much along the lines of what I do. So it's nice to just go and receive. But I found myself where people were asking me questions, particularly during the, the exercise we were doing. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is really interesting because it's my gift. So do I hold back? Do I give? But it's sort of who I am. It doesn't matter where I am. I could be in a workshop. I could be in the, in the grocery line. Same thing with you guys. You have gifts that you're bringing to the world to the people in your lives, to your community, to the stranger on the street. What are you leading with? Are you leading with that richness? So it seems like over the last month, I've been asking this question over and over and over again. What do you want? And my question back to you today is, is your energy supporting that desire? Not just your intellect. Aligning with your riches. When I move into the space of who I am energetically, the world better look out. The people around me, look out. It's powerful. But guess what? So are you. 
but we have to tune into that. It's not just about, oh, I've got to get this, or I've got to do that, or I've got to mock up this. It's really about opening up that space and going, wow, look how rich I am. Even if it doesn't come this week, today, in the form of money. But guess what? Money will follow. You know why? Because that lightness of energy, that passion and purpose will start to shine through. Yes, I can. Versus, oh, you know what? Here I go again. What happens if this happens? Now, I also don't want you to beat yourself up when that happens because that's your brain protecting you. Just say hello to it. Give it a hello. Oh, wow, there's that voice having a good old time. Become aware. But then if you need to, take about 30 seconds, maybe even a couple of minutes or until you can move into a space that allows you to connect to that abundance. After this call today, I'm gonna to put on a song. You guys have heard it before. I'm sorry on demand, you won't be able to hear it because it's not, uh, it's not uh, I don't have the copyright for it, but for you guys, the energy of that song is going to put you in a state of yes, I can. That's what you need to be in if you're mocking up richness in your life or more of it. So just as much as your brain says, oh, what if, and oh, who am I, and I don't know if I can do it, and all the self-talk that comes into play, I want you to say to yourself, who says? Just as much on the other side, the duality of life, yes, I can, opening up to those richness. It may not look in the form that you want it to right now, that's okay, because all of us have richness. We have blessings. What are we leading with those blessings? So this week, my invitation to you is to lead with your abundance, with the richness of life. Because I'm gonna tell you, if those things were taken away today, you would be devastated. Tune into what you have versus what you don't have. Lead with what you want versus what you don't want or what isn't happening. Finding the riches in your own life is really about tuning in. They're already there. Your treasure chest awaits and it's inside of you. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Mindful Mondays. Be sure to join us this Friday for another episode of Life Bites as we get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. I'm your host, life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And remember, until next time, sometimes in order to speed up, you've got to learn how to slow down.